Guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. So Mr. Timothy the Desert Storm Bradley says that Manny Pacquiao is very, very dangerous for Bud Crawford. He said that I shared 36 rounds with that beast. And he goes, that is one dangerous dude. That is one dangerous, dangerous dude and not one to be overlooked. That's the words of Timothy the Desert Storm Bradley. Andre Ward said that everybody keeps saying that Terence Crawford hasn't got that name on his, on his resume. If he gets the Pacquiao fight, that's that name. That's what Andre Ward said. And I agree. I think a lot of people are saying that Terence Crawford ain't getting that name. He finally looks like he may be getting that name against Manny Pacquiao. Now, let's talk about what Timothy Bradley had to say about him being dangerous and him sparring and saying that he sparred with Bud Crawford and he sparred with, and he's obviously been in the ring with Pacquiao and fought 36 rounds with him. Manny Pacquiao, for me, his style was all wrong for Timothy Bradley. And Bradley, for me, lost all three fights. And, and I thought he lo lo lost by a landslide in all three. Um, I think Pacquiao was just too much for Bradley. I think the style was all wrong. However, Crawford is obviously a lot more versatile than Bradley. Crawford's got a lot more about him than Bradley. However, I was, I was looking at these two match up. And I'm, I'm looking at Pacquiao's fights, looking at Crawford's fights. If Pacquiao comes 70-80% of what he was, 70-75%, I honestly don't see how this is going to be an easy fight for Terence Crawford. I know I have him a favourite and Bradley has him a slight favourite. Bradley, I think Bradley knows how good Manny Pacquiao is. Barry has a lot of respect for him because he's been in the ring with him. I think Bradley understands how great Manny Pacquiao is and I just think... <clears throat> When you're someone like Timothy Bradley that's been in the ring with him, you know, and you know how good Manny Pacquiao is, you can't overlook. I think Bradley knows that even though he's old and he's not in his prime, you can't overlook Manny Pacquiao. And I wouldn't be surprised, and Bradley said this, that don't be surprised if Terence Crawford hits the canvas in this fight. And I, I'd have to agree with him. I wouldn't be surprised if Terence Crawford does hit the canvas in this fight because Manny Pacquiao is explosive. He's got speed and power, which is a big, big problem for Terence Crawford. And Manny Pacquiao has got a granite chin. Manny Pacquiao has got a granite chin. And I don't know whether Terence Crawford has got a granite chin. I think Terence Crawford can be hit and hurt. And I think Manny Pacquiao has the kind of power and the explosiveness and the speed to really cause Terence Crawford a lot of trouble. Um, and, and Manny Pacquiao, um, like I said, has been in the ring with so many greats. He's got so much experience. I think this is going to be a hard fight for Crawford. You know, the more you think of it and the more you look at them and the more you break it down, you just cannot see this being an easy fight for Terence Crawford. Now, is, is Terence Crawford going to pick him apart? We'll have to wait and see. But I just don't see how... I feel there's somewhere along the way there's going to be a moment where Manny Pacquiao is going to nail him with something. And then we're going to know what, then we're going to find out what Terence Crawford's about. Because let me tell you something, Manny Pacquiao is dangerous, right? Thurman found that out and I think Crawford would, will find that out as well. Manny Pacquiao is very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So I agree with Timothy Bradley that this could be a very dangerous fight for someone like Terence Crawford. If he's underestimating Pacquiao, then underestimate him at his own peril. Because let me tell you something, Manny Pacquiao is nothing to be underestimated. He's nothing to be played with. Pacquiao's speed, movement, power is all a problem for Crawford. Especially when you've got a question mark over Crawford's chin. I know he recovers well and I know he's I know he's recovers every time he got hit and hurt. However, Pacquiao's different. Pacquiao's... If Pacquiao hits and hurts you, you're in trouble. You're in big, big trouble. And for me, Pacquiao has the power. He has the speed. He has everything in his favour to hurt Terence Crawford. He has the explosiveness. So I honestly feel that this is going to be a very, very tough fight for Terence Crawford. I think it's a very... I think Bradley summed it up perfectly. It's a very dangerous fight. 
It's a very, very dangerous fight. Even though Pacquiao's old, even though Pacquiao's not the fighter he was, it's still a very, very dangerous fight. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, this is a dangerous fight for Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's got nothing to lose. Not many people would be expecting him to win because he's old and he's past his best. And Crawford is seen as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. He's got everything to gain. Manny Pacquiao, if he loses, people will just say Manny Pacquiao wasn't the fighter he was. If he wins, his legacy goes to another level. Imagine if he wins in his last two victories where he could retire. He would have beaten Thurman and Crawford. What, what a way that would be to bow out the sport. You know, this is what I'm trying to say. That Manny Pacquiao right now is... Robert Garcia said something along the line that if Manny Pacquiao beats Crawford, he's probably the greatest ever. And like I said, you couldn't argue with that. You couldn't argue with that. If Manny Pacquiao beats Terence Crawford, can you really argue with him being considered the greatest ever? You do know that Manny Pacquiao beat virtually everybody in Floyd's era as well, that Floyd beat, right? And now he's beating young guys in another it from another era. If he was to beat Terence Crawford, imagine a 42-year-old beats a pound-for-pound pound great right now. So Crawford is a pound-for-pound pound number one or two right now. Imagine if Manny Pacquiao trumps him. Imagine how big an achievement after the career he's already had that would be. That would be ridiculous. Manny Pacquiao is now putting himself on a different, on a different level to everybody else. If he beats Terence Crawford... His career, for me, trumps Floyd's. And I know people will say Floyd beat him and Floyd's this, Floyd's that. Honestly, if he beats Terence Crawford, you cannot say that you can't make an argument of Manny Pacquiao being even greater than Floyd. Because his career, his career would be surreal. It would be like the guys beating pound-for-pound pound guys Not even in his prime. You know, it's crazy. You know, Stephen A. Smith said feels that, you know, Crawford will knock Pacquiao out and it's dangerous and he wouldn't, he doesn't, he likes Manny Pacquiao, doesn't want to see him get knocked out again. Maybe so. Maybe Crawford at this stage in Manny's career might just be too much. And, and, and he also said, I know he beat Thurman and Thurman's a good fighter, but I never ever saw Thurman like I saw Spence or saw Crawford. Yeah, maybe he's right. Maybe Thurman isn't a Spence or Crawford. However, Thurman's still a very good fighter. And Crawford, a lot of people have got a question mark about his resume. A lot of people have got question marks around his chin. I don't, think, I don't personally think the chin issue is that big because I think Crawford recovers quickly. But again, if Manny Pacquiao hurts you, it's a different story. Manny Pacquiao's a, accomplished. He's beat everybody, like I said, in and around his era. And... He's now going, if he fights Crawford for the next, for the best in this gener in, in a generation, in an era that he, that he shouldn't even be fighting anymore. Manny Pacquiao shouldn't even be, even be competing with someone like Crawford in this era now. Because it's a different era. But Manny Pacquiao, the great man, the legend, Manny Pacquiao is still trying to prove his, le trying to prove his greatness. He's still trying to show how, people how great he is. If Manny Pacquiao fights Terence Crawford, right, forget about beating him. That in itself is, uh, Manny Pacquiao is great for doing that. Manny Pacquiao goes and beats him. <sighs> I don't know where that puts Manny Pacquiao in boxing history, but it puts him near the very top. Just put it that way. Because I know I'm going to trigger a lot of people because there's going to be a lot of people oh, Floyd beat him. Listen, that puts him at the very top. I would then happily say that Manny Pacquiao's career is greater than Floyd's. Right now, I don't like, I don't like really comparing because I both think they've had great careers and they've both done great things. If he beats Terence Crawford, for me, hands down, I would have his career over Floyd's. Because he's just beaten guys of another era. Even though Floyd beat Manny, yeah, I get that. I still would prefer to have 
a career like Pacquiao where he's beating guys in an era where he shouldn't even be fighting anymore. He shouldn't be fighting the likes of Crawford. 42-year-old fighting a pound-for-pound great. And if he beats him, oh my goodness, that puts him on, a, on another level. And I don't think, as Bradley said, it's, he's not one to write off. He's a dangerous, dangerous fight for, for Terence Crawford. And I know I've got Crawford a favourite. And I know this will be the first time that I'm picking against Manny Pacquiao. But I'm not picking against, against him with any confidence. I'd love to see Manny Pacquiao pull off the, pull off the upset. But it's going to be tough. And it's not just going to be tough for Manny. It's going to be tough for Bud Crawford. Because Manny Pacquiao is dangerous for anybody. I don't care what age. I don't care whatever anyone says. Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight for Terence Crawford. He's a dangerous, dangerous fight. And Bradley knows what he's talking about. He shared the ring with that guy three times. He knows what Manny Pacquiao brings. He brings heat. He brings fire. Leave your thoughts, guys. Leave your thoughts, guys. I'm pumped. If this fight gets announced, I'm going to be pumped. Because I really want to see this fight. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think this fight happens? Do you think Manny Pacquiao is on the verge of... Or, this fight has been on the verge of being announced. Is Manny Pacquiao going to be fighting Terence Crawford to add to his legacy? Unbelievable. Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.